Hey everybody, my name is Daryl, and I get a lot of questions about people wanting to install more websites onto their SiteGround hosting accounts. Now, in my other past tutorials, I talk about how you should sign up for the Grow B because you can sign up for the unlimited option where you can have unlimited websites hosted rather than just a single domain. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that today step by step because I have this new tutorial coming out with Cider Revolution and I wanna have a domain specifically for that tutorial so people can view the demo website. So I'm gonna be making a complete domain from scratch and installing WordPress and setting up my SSL onto my SiteGround account. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, if you don't have SiteGround hosting, what are you doing? Get away from HostGator. Get away from it. It's a, it's a bad hosting company. Go with SiteGround, the number one hosting company. There is a link below to purchase it in the description below. So you'll go to your hosting account and you'll go to add services. And right here, just do a, you know, just give yourself a domain, whatever domain you want to install. So let's hope, hopefully no one is gonna buy this domain, which happens a lot in my tutorials. All right, cool. So here we have a register domain and then you have register domain with hosting. So just make sure that you have it only with register the domain name because you already have hosting. So you don't want to purchase a second package. So make sure that this right here is checked. Also make sure domain privacy is checked as well because if you don't, you're gonna have all this spam. You're gonna have people who are calling you, selling you services. It is a total pain in the butt. So uh, for, for the love of God, just, just have domain privacy uh, checked and then go to pay now, all right? So once you've done with that, once you're finished uh, purchasing your domain for $27, you'll go to my account. Now you'll need to actually put it on a specific hosting account. So I have one, two, three, four, five, but you probably only have one. So I wanted to install it on this one right here. So over here, I'll go to manage accounts and I'll go to click on cPanel. Now, hopefully this doesn't change in the future, but uh, they always change their interface. So if this video becomes outdated, I'll go ahead and update it again. Right here, you'll click on add on domain. So I want to add on the domain I just purchased onto this account right here. So my domain is called slider tutorial. And here I'll go ahead and give this a password. Make sure you write this down. Don't forget it. Let's see. Okay. And right here I'll click on add on domain. All right, cool. So I added on this domain onto this hosting account. Now, uh, if you have multiple hosting accounts, click on my accounts right here. And you wanna make sure that the name servers are pointed at this hosting account. Usually by default, if you have only one hosting account, I think it's automatically default pointed at the, the main, uh, the only hosting account you have, but I'm gonna show you how you can point the name servers at this hosting account as well. So right here on information and settings, we have these name servers right here. Now you just wanna go to your domain and you just wanna make sure that it's actually pointed at this server. All right, so right here we have, um, this, these are the name servers we have. So now we need to go and find the domain and make sure those are pointed at the correct name servers. So go ahead and find your domain that you just purchased and make sure that those are pointed at the correct ones. I'm gonna go to mine, it is slidertutorial.com. I'm gonna go to manage. Now right here, go ahead and just paste that. And then the other one was, um, number two. So the only difference is it's like NS1 and then NS2. So just make sure that this is how you put in name servers. Okay, so I pointed the domain at this hosting account. So it will take time to propagate. Now they always say 24 hours, but usually it's like after 30 or 40 minutes, it never takes a full day. But if it ever takes too long, you can always contact them and say, hey guys, um, my website's not propagated yet. Can you guys look at it, etc." So now that we've actually pointed the domain at the server, let's install WordPress onto this domain. So over here, I'll go to manage accounts. And right here, I'll go to cPanel. And here we have WordPress and also Softaculous. I don't think it even matters. You can click on either one. So I'll just click on Softaculous. They're, they both do the same thing. They both install WordPress. So right here, I'll go to install. Now you should see your domain here. If you don't, you might wanna contact SiteCrown and say, hey guys, where's my domain at? So right here, choose the domain. And we're gonna go ahead and find the domain I just purchased. And it's right here, slider tutorial. All right. 
Now, right here, they're saying the SSL has not been installed yet. And we're going to do that after we install WordPress. You know, I don't know if you should install the SSL before or after. In my years of WordPress, you can do it either or. It doesn't really matter because um, you'll get like the no trusted sign on your site, but you can install the SSL right after this. And I'll show you how to do it. It's a free, it doesn't cost you anything. So I'll just go ahead and just do HTTPS, www, or I'll just do uh, www dots for right now. All right, so right here, go ahead and put in your admin your username. I'll just put admin and then I'll put a uh, password for now. And then I'll write this right here. Now make sure you write all of this down because um, if you have the wrong email, it's gonna be a little difficult for you to reset all your password and stuff. So right here, I don't want the WordPress starter. It's just a plugin they include and I'll click on install. Oh, it looks like my password must be bigger. So I'll put password one, two, three. And here I'll go to install. So now it's installing WordPress onto this domain. Now after this, and you click on the WP-admin to visit the website, sometimes it's not gonna show up. And most of the time it won't because remember, we have to wait for the name servers to propagate. So right here, I'll click on slider tutorial and you might get an error, you might not. And it looks like it's already done. I mean, <laughs> that's pretty fast, you know? So uh, right now my site is not secure. So you can see right here, this is not secure. So I'll be showing you also how you can install the SSL onto your account. So now that I've done all this, let's go back onto our cPanel and go to my account. And we're going to go to Let's Encrypt and we're going to install the SSL onto this domain because you really wanna make sure you have an SSL on every single website and SiteGround will give you those for free. So there's really no reason why you shouldn't add it. So again, we'll go to the same hosting account, manage accounts. I shouldn't even have exited out, but I did. I can just click back, but I just have a very bad habit of clicking on home for some reason and it takes me back here. So right here, we'll go to uh, go to cPanel. All right, and we're gonna to install this SSL. So go ahead and scroll down and right here, click on Let's Encrypt. So now that you're here, the next thing you'll do is scroll down. Just keep scrolling, just keep scrolling. And right here where it says Install New Let's Encrypt Certificates, right here where it says Domain, there's a little drop down menu. You're gonna go ahead and find your domain. So right here is my domain. And right here, I'll click on Install. All right, so now it's installing the domain. It has been added to the installation queue, so it is installing the SSL onto our domain. Now, personally, I don't know how fast it is. I don't know how fast this will take to install the SSL. You might wanna contact SiteGround and say, hey guys, I installed the SSL. Um, you know, uh, what's up with it? What's the status of it? But I'll go ahead and give it a test. So once you install the SSL and you still get the not secure sign and you've waited probably an hour, the best thing to do is install a plugin called Really Simple SSL. And this will force the SSL to work. All right. So right now I still have that not secure, but right here I'll click on uh, install and activate. So this is the really simple SSL plugin you will need. Go ahead and migrate to the SSL. So right here I'll go ahead and activate the SSL. Now it might kick you out of WordPress after this. So make sure that you actually have your information written down. I'll click on visit websites and congratulations. Now we have the SSL installed onto our website. Uh, remember, if you want to go ahead and log into your websites. All right, so I'm all finished. So I've showed you how to purchase the domain. I've showed you how to add it onto your hosting account, how to point the name servers, how to install WordPress, and how to install the SSL onto your WordPress website. So if you have any questions for me, please feel free to let me know. If you have a problem, just go ahead and go to their um, the SiteGround uh, support where they can go ahead and answer your questions. Sometimes guys, weird stuff happens with hosting and this video, I hopefully it's really helpful, but sometimes I know I run into random errors. Also, if you want to learn how to use the Slider Revolution plugin, I'm having a full tutorial on that. In fact, that's why I installed this domain. So I'm gonna show you how to make this same uh, slider with some others in that video. So be sure to check it out. My name is Daryl Wilson and I will see you all in the next video and make sure to like this video. See you guys later.